I started decluttering around three years ago now, around the same time as I did my very first no buy, which was focused on cosmetics due to previous over shopping. It was around this same time that I started thinking about moving home and I found myself feeling that I needed a bigger home in part to house all my stuff and I realized just how ridiculous this was. So I started the process of decluttering and letting go of things that I didn't need or didn't use. Now there are many benefits to decluttering which we might talk about in a future video but today I just wanted to share how I feel that decluttering has helped me save money and how hopefully it could help you save money too. One, decluttering helps teach us the value in sticking to a budget or embracing mindful purchasing. As you begin to declutter, it's likely you will come across items in your home that you have perhaps never used, clothing with tags still on them, or maybe just items that have been forgotten about in the back of a cupboard and so on. And this process can be quite uncomfortable because it can raise feelings of regret or maybe even guilt at kind of wasting our money in this way. However, it can be a valuable lesson in teaching us the value of um, sticking to a budget or maybe mindful purchasing. Many of the items that I had that were unused were things I bought when I didn't really have a budget, I didn't have any financial goals, I clearly didn't buy those items because I truly needed them or was even confident that I would definitely use them and I certainly wasn't purchasing mindfully. It's highly likely that I bought those items when I was kind of just having a sodic moment and I really wasn't thinking about those purchases at all. Whilst I certainly experienced some regret thinking about the money that I had spent on these purchases that I was now decluttering, in a strange way it was valuable because I tend to scrutinise my purchases now. Not to never spend any money or never buy anything, but just to think about whether I will definitely use this item and to purchase mindfully and that kind of reduces the chances of me needing to declutter something at a later date unused. Two, decluttering can highlight spending habits. One thing I noticed once I started to declutter was that I had repeated purchases of certain items and I began to notice patterns in my spending habits. So for example, at one point I went through the entire house and pulled together everything that was kind of body lotion, body oil, etc. And I found that I'd got two shoe boxes full, which is obviously ridiculous. But when I sat and thought about it, I realized that if it was a Friday or a Saturday night and I didn't have any plans to kind of go out with friends or go for a meal, etc., then what I would do is stop off at the shops on the way home from work and pick up just a few nice bits for a pamper night. But I wasn't factoring in that I already had lots of nice things at home for a pamper night, so I started to notice those patterns. So through decluttering, you can start to identify patterns and habits that you may have gotten into. Now, it may not be cosmetics for you. It could be those extra cleaning products you pick up that you don't really need. It could be that clothing that you buy just predominantly because it's on sale. By taking stock of what you have and really understanding your shopping habits, maybe recognizing some patterns, you can work to reduce any habitual shopping and therefore prevent wasting money in the future. Three, helps reduce impulse shopping. Leading nicely on from my last point, by understanding exactly what you have in your home, you are far less likely to buy something on impulse. When our items are lost in a sea of clutter, it can feel far easier in that moment to just purchase something, especially if it's a good deal or feels like a bargain. Furthermore, so many of us lead such busy lives that often it can feel like the easier option to buy something that we already have because we simply don't have the time to search the house for the item. By reducing unnecessary clutter and assigning those things that you do keep a home, you don't need to make multiple purchases of the same item because you know you already have one and more importantly, you know exactly where to find it. Four, you might need less space. The storage unit market has been flourishing for a good few years now and the size of the average home has been increasing over the last few decades despite the number of inhabitants decreasing. Why? Because so many of us have so much stuff. If you can really get serious with your decluttering, you might find that you can get rid of the cost of that storage unit. Maybe consider downsizing to a smaller home or at the very least not feel the need to move to a larger, more costly home just to store your stuff. Five, you don't need to buy storage solutions. There are entire companies that are built upon our need to store and organize all of our stuff. And whilst I'm partial to some pretty storage myself from time to time, what a lot of people do when they find themselves overwhelmed with stuff is rather than declutter, they set out to kind of organize it and in the process buy lots of pretty plastic containers which will only temporarily solve the problem anyway. By facing the clutter head on, by going through that discomfort, not only does it offer benefits in terms of addressing our purchasing habits, but you have no need to purchase so much storage. Six, letting go helps break the desire for more. 
When I began to declutter, at first I wasn't all that good at it. I found it really difficult to let go of certain items for multiple reasons. They were unused, they were still in great condition, I'd spent money on them, but over time I got much better at it. I'd been realistic with myself about whether I truly would use the item, whether I would wear it, whether I would need it, and I switched my mindset to kind of feeling that I would prefer and that someone else would get joy from an item found in a charity shop or maybe purchased from myself for a small amount than for it to just kind of hang in my wardrobe unused and unloved. Interestingly, once I let go of those items, I realized I was no less happy. Through learning to let go, I realized that more items will not necessarily make me feel more secure, more special, more successful, more happy, and thus reduce my desire for more items for the sake of it. Rather, I now really think about purchases and buy just what I truly want. Even if the item is more expensive or would be considered luxury to some, I still end up saving money in the end because I'm truly satisfied with those items. Seven, make money selling items you don't need. Lastly, a little bonus benefit is that you can start to recoup some of the money that you've spent previously by selling any items that you no longer need, especially items that are in good condition. A word of warning here though, I have been doing this recently and obviously it's great to be able to sell items and kind of get some money back for them, but it does take time, it does take effort and sometimes it can be a bit of a hassle. So overall, I prefer to just not buy items that I don't need that I later would need to sell. Overall, I found that decluttering has had a positive impact on my life, including financially. Now, I'm not perfect. I still have a way to go yet, including my wardrobe, for example. I keep putting it off. I'm determined to do it this year. Now, it's also a really great thing to do if you have decided to embark on a no-buy year because it really kind of highlights just how much stuff you have. And I found just the process of not buying anything and using up things I I had during my no buy was really, really helpful. I also found that just going through the sort of pain and hassle of decluttering really kind of quelled any wish to shop. I did not want to bring anything else into the house that I didn't really, really want. So I found it helpful in that way too. So that's it for today's video. I hope this was helpful or interesting in some way. As always, thank you so much for kind of watching my videos, supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it and I look forward to seeing your comments all the time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.